Uh, welcome back to Jeff Greenangate live here at Citizen Television. What an interview. What a candid discussion with my good friend. I simply call him Kehara. You know why. Bob Collimore is back and he's looking great. He uh, just underwent chemo for a type, type of uh, leukemia, cancer of the bone marrow, blood of the blood. And look at him. Nine months later, still ugly. Eh? <laughs> still ugly. <laughs> Actually, you know something? You know, uh, one of the things a stem cell transplant does for you, it changes a number of things. You're finishing with your intro. Yes. Can I read this first? You can do that. Can I read it first real quick? Yeah. You hate that, don't you? Sorry. No, that's fine. You're, you're Chris Kirubi. Yeah, sure. Chris. Chris says, Jeff, tell my friend welcome back and hope to see you soon. He says, I'm doing fine. Thanks for that, Chris. And waiting to have my energy back. Good job. And tell Bob sorry. Chris, uh, you know, Chris, Chris and I would exchange um, text messages when he's in Boston and I was in London. And then he sneaked back into the country without yeah. telling me. Uh, but Chris, I'm going to come back and s come by and see you. Uh, maybe this weekend, but we'll, we'll be in touch with your, your office. And, uh, can I come with you? You can come, yeah. Thank you. But you know, Chris has got a tough schedule. I mean, he's like busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's, he's always busy. He gives, he gives you 20 people. minutes. You give, you, you give me a 20 minute slot, Chris. I mean, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff and I will come see you. Yeah, yeah, for 20 minutes. Mwangi from KAA, he says, Hi, bro. Say hi to Bob. We train together on helicopters at Sicham Aviation. Sicham? Mm -hmm. Tell him he has been. Uh, there before and he is now and will even in future that was just a hiccup it will be long gone yeah so your fellow helicopter pilot guy i like it when we sung like a top gun <laughs> if you see the little helicopter that i can fly it's <laughs> it's an embarrassment <laughs> you know you have one of your great great employees i love this kid man he's so hard working gathu I'm, I'm sure you know him he's always at a sarit platinum center yeah. Right? And then you guys move him around a lot. So he's always on the road doing stuff and then he comes back. So Gaudi says, uh, that's a hearty laughter there from long lost friends. <laughs> and he says, when Bob looks back, what are his balcony moments? Hmm. What's a balcony moment? Moments looking back that, uh, you know, when, you, when you're sitting on, standing on the balcony and looking out and saying, if I could have done this again, would I change anything? No. That was a quick answer. I have a, I've had a great life. I continue to have a great life. I mean, the ups and downs, um, you know, it, it helps to shape you. You know, Asmali from Italy, Achmed. You, you know names. I'm terrible with names, Mike. You, you know him. Did you get that joke? I just said, uh, okay, keep going. <laughs> So calls himself the mayor of East Lee. He says, pass my regards to Bob. Glad to see him back. Kindly urgent to empower and strengthen the Safaricom Foundation. So many disadvantaged people look up to that. And thanks to Safaricom for supporting my Fidi Fidi Festival East Lee. Foundation, man. We're trying to move beyond the foundation. Um, so we've got two foundations. You've got the Safaricom Foundation and you've got the uh, M-Pesa Foundation. The big flagship project, um, I don't even call it a project, um, but the flagship thing we do is we have the M-Pesa Academy, which we're setting out to make it the best uh, school in the, on the continent. Um, it's taking in underprivileged but bright children. Um, it's going to, up to capacity, it'll be just under, a th just shy of a thousand children. We're working a lot with our partners, so you know our mutual friend um, Joshua at KCB. So they're sponsoring four to seven children with disabilities into the school. Um, How many do you have right now? Uh, I think we have about three or three three hundred children or something. Wow. Um, it's set it's set on about seven to five acres of um, of land in uh, in Thika. Um, and and from, from what level? It's uh, it's secondary school, so oh. it, it takes them from is it from one from one yeah, yeah. Um, up to, uh, and now some of those children are now being sponsored and taken over to the United States for full scholarship. Oh. Um, and we're hoping a lot of these kids will go to the best universities when we're done. So that's the kind of stuff. Uh, the, on the foundation side, you know, we've run medical camps together with the Diabetes Management um, and Information Center. <coughs> Diabetes Management Information Center. Mm -hmm. And under that umbrella, you know, we do a lot of the testing that we talked about. Yeah. Because and if you see the cues that, that form, so we, of course we test for diabetes, but we do eyesight, we do hearing, um, we look for cancer, uh, cancer markers. 
Um, and we've done that across the country and continue to do that. And that's an important part of what, we, uh, what the foundation does. Yeah. Have you ever thought of a cancer center? And I'm not saying, you know, you should because government is the one who's supposed to take the lead in this. But, you know, you just suffered a big setback. And you may, yeah. you may, you could may, may not have bounced back. There's a chance you couldn't have come back from it. Ever thought of that? Yeah, a lot. Um, you know, uh, the, the points to which I get emotional, I get emotional about my own condition. Um, but I get emotional when I think about the children. I remember the children in K and H. Yeah. Have you been there? Yes. Um, oh, it's heartbreaking. And you know, I remember saying to my colleague Joe Ogutu, because we took the the Safaricom Youth Orchestra to perform. To perform. So we take them in different places. You know, yeah. they performed in State House. Yeah. Uh, but we said, you know, you, you need to understand the full uh, landscape of, of what Kenya is like. So you need to go and perform for these children. I remember Joe saying to me, it's really tough to go upstairs and, and see those children, you know, because uh, many of them are in palliative care, which yeah. means that, you know, th they're going to die of yeah. cancer. Yeah. Um, he says, I, I find it hard. You know, Joe's got a big heart. I said, Joe, it's, um, it's easy, you know. Just remember that not everybody's equal. I said, nobody cares about those children. And it's, it's the truth. Yeah. And we as a society yeah. don't care about those children. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in, those condi in that condition. Um, and, and we can't say it's, it's government or it's somebody else. We as a society put those children in that condition. And, and when I consider the, um, the resources which was thrown at, at, at my condition and, and lots of others, and I consider those children, I think, Life's just not fair, yeah. and you know, if you can do anything to readjust that, then you have. So you know, we're we're kind of thinking about that. Yeah. And also, I think we're one of my staff wrote to me and said, you know, have you thought about a, a cancer support group? Hmm. And I think that's a very good idea because you know, I was lucky that I had such a huge, um, a, a much bigger uh, system than I than I thought. You know, ranging from my my mother-in-law yeah. who just stepped in, and you know, she 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 has a full career. She lectures at, U at USIU, wow. and still, you know, she was there wow. to take care of the kids in our absence. Um, and, um, you know, bless her, she's, she's still there. I hope she's watching. Um, nice. You know, friends, people like Kavuda, Emily, Jessica, yeah. uh, Odede, you know, they're all there for us. And, and I think s even within Safaricom, setting up uh, a, a support unit which helps and you know help for people like me to kind of contribute. There was a guy who I was put in touch with. I'm rambling on a little bit here, um, called Terry. And Terry had gone through the same. I never met him, but uh, he'd gone through the same thing. And I found that a huge help talking to Terry as he talked me through what his experience was like and what I can expect. Fortunately, I, I, I you know for me it was a bit actually quite a lot easier than, than Terry's experience. But all of that helps. And yeah. so I think we need to do much more um, to raise cancer awareness. Um, and also to help people to understand that uh, it doesn't kill you. It's not a death sentence. It's not a death sentence. Absolutely. You know, a cold can be a death sentence. Correct. It's a pneumonia, etc. Correct. Okay, so before the break, you said um, you spoke to two hand, both the handshakers. Mm. So you've spoken to the president. Yeah, so the guy next door, his name is Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he's had this long running feud. <laughs> Uh, no, look, I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, many of the political leaders had, had reached out and, yes. um, and were in touch. Um, so, um, you know, Ryla, spoke with Ryla several times. Um, I spoke with the deputy president several times. Um, you know, he's been fantastic. He would even just send me text messages. Um, His Excellency uh, had also reached out to a number of um, ministers. You know, we had the Commonwealth heads, heads of government. Yeah, yeah. Um, so people came and people who I think you must be far too busy to come see me um, they they were there several times to, to say and, and people walking up to your Covent Garden but, but you know that, that's another story <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> when you obviously that was March 9th exactly five months tomorrow was the handshake five months tomorrow March 9th what did you think thank goodness yeah is what I thought because you know Kenya <clears throat> Uh, Kenyans uh, are tremendously resilient people, mm. but uh, you know, there's only so much you can stretch them. And um, I think that uh, businesses, people, it, it was really stretching. I mean, the businesses is, is one side, businesses recover. But you, know, you, you can't stretch people to, to that extent. Yeah. Um, we are a single nation, and we have to behave like a single nation. And that divide really doesn't help. And, and uh, you know, coming back from where I was, I mean, of course, I, I read the newspapers every day. Um, 
uh, from where I was, you know, I thought it was, it was fantastic news that, you know, two people decided to be statesmen, um, come together, and, uh, and you know, you're seeing the results now. Yeah. Look, you always... I mean, we still tease each other. I mean, I, I, sure. I still tease radicals. And, I said, I told you you couldn't resist me. Now, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 but, you know, politics yeah. is one thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, even, even in business, you know, like I said, uh, we fight very really hard with Telcom Kenya. Or we're the first people to send me messages of, um, you know, hope you get better soon or great to see you back. Or Aldo from Telcom Kenya yeah, and, uh, and P.D. Sharma from, from Airtel. Is that right? Because we're human beings. Yeah. Apart from everything else, and uh, you know, uh, guys, when you see us fighting in public, uh, it's it's, it's commercial stuff, right? Yeah. But ultimately, we respect each other's human yeah. beings. Yeah. Look, you've all, you've said this a lot of times before that Safaricom is not Bob Collymore, and uh, while you were away for nine months, your company made fifty-five billion shillings in profits, fifty-five billion, two hundred ten billion in revenue. I mean, who does that? <laughs> By the way, you're the we biggest do. taxpayer, don't, aren't you? And tax paying is a good thing. Yeah. You know, I, I believe, I'm a strong believer in paying your taxes. One of the things that I do is I'm a member of the B team, and the B team is a bunch of international business leaders uh, who work really hard mm. for uh, responsible tax practices, both on the government side, because you will be very happy to pay your taxes, I think. Yes. Um, if you think that the money was going to good, um, put to, to good use. So you take the Danes. The Danes are quite happy to pay more tax. Mm. Why? Because they know that the tax is going to be well used. They get services. The result of that is that you know you get the happiest nation in the world. I think the Finns have taken over that <laughs> recently. Danes, um, Finns, okay, yeah. The Brits, you know, a lot of debate in Britain uh, when the budget was uh, was was published recently, well, a few months ago, where the Brits were saying, well, actually, why don't you tax us a little bit more? so that we can provide for the National Health Service. So as a company, we are very proud to play our role, not just in paying taxes, but also, sorry, I'm clicking this, but also in, in, in helping government to collect taxes. Yeah, pa answer the first part of the question. What's 55 the first part of the billion question? shillings, 210 yeah. billion in revenue, mm -hmm. and yet you were MIA. You know, Safaricom wasn't MIA. Uh, there's one guy in Safaricom who's um, MIA for, for a bit. Um, what we've done in the past few years is built a very, very strong management team. And so, uh, except for the fact that people were obsessed a little bit about it, th the company ran very well. You know, Satish and Joe provided the leadership uh, that, um, that was required. But everybody stepped up, you know, whether it was uh, Rita, who manages our enterprise business. It was Steve who manages the sales operation. They all stepped up and, and delivered a, a great set of results, supported by the board, because the board was actually much more hands-on in that period as well. Uh, I speak with the chairman frequently. Yeah. Um, I, actually, I, I think I missed one board meeting. Um, That's the, it? The other board meetings I joined from my, my kitchen by video conference. Um, it's like a good football team, huh? It's a fantastic football team. Yeah. You know, it's... it's um, it's, I'm, I'm proud of them. Yeah. If you ask me, the one thing that I'm proud of in the time, the eight years that I've been in, it's actually eight years and two weeks that I've been uh, in Safaricom, yeah. um, this is the team that I built. Aaron Rimbui, he's actually... Isn't uh, he in New York? He, he, well, it's a what, 917 number, you're right. Yeah. It's a 917 number. Uh, plus one, so yeah, USA. Uh, uh, hey Jeff, Aaron Rimbui here. Big shout out and good vibes to Bob from New Jersey. New Jersey. Aaron, one of the things that I did, if you're still watching, um, <coughs> just around the corner from where I, I, I was staying, uh, was one of the best saxophone shops that I've ever encountered. <laughs> and so I bought myself a new Selma. <laughs> and I used some of that time to, um, to practice. So uh -oh. it wasn't all put to bad use. So there's a jam session coming up soon? When Aaron comes back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Donald Kip Career. Ah, Donald, was, I mean, Donald has been fantastic. You know, Donald would, would regularly send me messages. Yeah. Um, and even in the last week, you know, he was sending me messages when I, I actually was in country, and he didn't know. Uh, but Donald always, I mean, you know, Donald, Donald and we fight because we're in court on, on a few issues. <laughs> okay. uh, but this is, this is the point that I'm trying to make. Yes. You know, humanity comes at the center of it all. And whilst Donald and I might be uh, litigating against each other on stuff, I don't even know what it is, um, you know, Donald already has shown that he, he cares. And, Gentleman, huh? It's above yeah. all that. He says, Bob, good to see you. Hail and hearty. <laughs> Donald praise. <laughs> Fred Obach Machoka said, thanks for this interview, Jeff. 
Stay strong, Bob. Allow me to ask, do you see Safaricom setting aside some funds for cancer awareness? Oh, we talked about we that. Talked about that. Ah, well done, Fred. Yeah, we're all on the we same really page. We really do a lot of stuff in, on cancer awareness um, because we work with, uh, with Peter and Yan Yongo on the Africa Cancer Foundation. Mm. So there's, there's quite a lot of stuff that we, we already do. Yeah. But I've not personally been involved in it. Yes. Monica, in my ear, just told me that your, reve your revenue was not at 210 billion. It's 220. It's 224. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> because, you know, we don't yeah. actually, uh, the, uh, for us, it's not the numbers. And even when we, you know, you, you popped around to my office this morning. Yes. And none of us, you know, me or Rashir, we couldn't remember what the numbers were because right. that's not the, the thing that we fixate on. You know, we fixate on, on trying to fix problems that Kenyans face. And, and for sure, I mean, uh, you know, you, you, you haven't brought it up yet, but, you know, for sure, Kenyans have got some 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 issues with us yes you know we've got issues with bundles disappearing <laughs> we've got issues with the uh, sim swap yeah um m -Pesa charges m -Pesa charges you know and all of those issues we, we we're, we're aware of them and we're trying to work them through so if you take the sim swap problem i mean the big problem with sim swap incidentally is pin numbers do not give anybody under any circumstances your pin numbers because pin uh, sim swaps only happen if someone has got your pin number and there's a lot of social engineering that happens that extracts it out of you. And once yeah. that, that happens, you've kind of lost control of it. Now, we're trying to do something. Uh, you know, are we doing enough? Probably not enough yet. Yeah. Um, over the last four months, I think about 12 people have been arrested and taken to court over this issue. Yeah. So, you know, we, we actually fixate about trying to fix those problems. Uh, and then the numbers flow through. You know, we say, th th we got the three Ps. In fact, when I first said it, I was talking to the management team. I said, so we've got the three Ps. Um, Purpose, people, okay, just the two P's. <laughs> and then I remembered actually there was a, three, a third P, and right. the third P was profit. Uh -huh. And the third P falls out. If, because you have, if you have purpose at the center of your business, center of whatever you do, then you have to take care of the people. You have yeah. 6,000 people. And then you extend that beyond just the, the 6,000 people to the people who belong to our, our dealer network. I mean, mm. massively important stakeholder team. Yeah. There's, a, there's a fourth P. <coughs> striving for perfection. You can you can have that for free, okay? What's the secret? That'll be why you are a TV guy. <laughs> I'm a business guy. <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> what is the secret to a fifty billion shilling profit? Six thousand people. Six thousand people who have profit, uh, who has a purpose at the heart of what they do. Um. And the, you know, the, 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 the profit doesn't come from the, the exco or the, the, the board. It comes from people every day going to work and being committed to changing Kenya for the best. It sounds like you know, big and, and uh, a lofty thing, but that's fine. You know, we, we, don't, we don't have a problem with that. We think that everybody, you know, if this cameraman wakes up in the morning and says, you know, how can I make life better for people? You know, he will actually really enjoy his job. It looks like he enjoys his job. But uh, so, six thousand people who committed to that purpose of transforming lives. Yeah. Eric, are you enjoying yourself? Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Just checking. Uh, someone is asking. Jeff Muthair was asking your Safaricom TV thing. Is that going to come back? By the way, you know why you have a bad back? Is because you sit like that. Just sit up. <laughs> thank you. Look, I've been sitting on a bench for ten years. You know that. Yeah, and that's why you have a bad back. That's why you spend so much money on a chiropractor and a physiotherapist. <laughs> um, no. Before I come TV, no, look, we, we don't want to do TV. What we, what we want to do is we want to provide a platform that yeah. can help other people. So, you know, we've done deals with people like Kweze mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to help them to deliver the content. We don't want to do content. You but what we have done is we have uh, passed uh, a whole load of homes now with fiber, yeah. which gives them two things. It gives them access to to TV, you know, whether it be local or international content, and it also gives them always on internet, which is what people want. Right. You can't do always on internet using a mobile phone. It's just, you know, it's just economically not. Sure. Bad. One more before we go to tweets. Um, Sudhir. Sudhir Vidyarthi. I know Sudhir. One yeah. of the first people I met when I came to the country. Uh, right. He says, Jeff, my best to Bob. I wish him all the best. Sudhir. Thank you, Sudhir. So it's a long time since you invited me to a barbecue. Yeah. Okay, now I, I get to take off my jacket. You know, I do that at some point in the show. Just uh, this time, it's just to read the tweets, okay? And to you can't see the. You, mean, you know, you need to breathe, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. So, 
we're going to get straight to the tweets and then you can respond to them, okay? Is that okay, Monica? All right, here we go. Moshemi says, welcome back, CEO. Safaricom should establish a world-class medical facility for their customers only. We need each other alive, Bob. So here's the thing. Um, uh, this customers only thing, you, you know, when we say we want to transform lives, which camera am I facing? I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. They'll all get you. Yeah. you. A lot of cameras here. <laughs> um, high tech, high tech. <laughs> high tech. Some of them are dummies. Um, uh, you know, when, when we say we want to transform lives, we don't just stick with our customers. We want to, because you can't say oh, only Safaricom customers can access our medical right, camps. Right, right. So we don't check to see what your SIM card is when you come to a medical camp. Um, for sure, you know, we need to do more for our customers. We always need to do more for our customers. But we, we want to kind of really address this issue as society at large. Good point, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Wayne Bryan, you say, say hi to CEO Bob Collimore. It's such a great gratification that he is back to work and looks even more healthier. I am actually technically healthier than when I left. Kipchumba Ruto. Welcome back, Bob. We are glad you're in good health. My question is, why is Safaricom taking so long to effect a court order stopping them from effecting the increase in m -Pesa charges introduced by the Treasury CS in June? Uh, give, me, give me a break. I mean, I've only just come back. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the answer to that question is. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> yeah, give him a break, man. He's been here two minutes. Obuya blogs. I'm really happy and proud about this powerful man, Bob Collimore. Indeed, he has made me the person who I am today. A mentor to millions of young people and a young CEO as well. Hmm. Enoch Kilile. We thank God for the miracle of healing. Indeed, it's been a long break. We appreciate every effort you have taken to empower young people of this great nation. You are a blessing. God bless you and welcome back, sir. Live forever. Monica and Jaroge. Monica. Oh, it's not you. Okay. Ask Bob how he plans to influence other people who may not have the opportunities he had to seek good care. Maybe start a foundation or get more involved in the dialogue concerning the health system challenges in the country. Yeah, I'm, I'm no question about it. I'm privileged. Um, and do I want to engage with other stakeholders? Yes. Yeah. Do I want to engage with the government of Kenya in this space? to see what we can do to help them, yes. You heard about the big four, right? <coughs> of course. Affordable yeah. health care. How can you not hear about the big four? Okay. <coughs> not in the Maasai Mara. Those are the big five. They're, they're five, Okay. Yes. <laughs> Including the rhinos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. Jeffrey N. Ngetich says, Jeff, kindly share with Ministry of Health Kenya, Kenya governors, and plus the other big four agenda decision makers, Bob Collima's message that at NHSC England, the National Health Service, right? which is public, offers better care than private service. Yeah, it says that even in America, by the way. Even in America, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, to do that, you have to pay your tax. And once you've got so many people who are dodging taxes, corporates as well as individuals, yeah. then how does the government it. support it? I hear you, I hear you. Pascal Alara, please ask Bob Collimore to comment on rise of cybercrime cases. Uh, that's, um, <clears throat> it's a fact of life. You know, we've got a lot of people who now have access to, uh, to the internet um, all over the world. I mean, it's not just here. Um, so we have uh, a cyber watch unit in, in Safaricom. Mm. Uh, and if you see the numbers, I, I don't know the latest numbers, but if you see the numbers of, of attempted, um, attempted attacks on the, what we call the outer ring and the inner ring, mm. uh, you would be amazed. And, and where they come from, you know, they come largely from Eastern Europe. So from Russia and that kind of space. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them also come from the United States. Uh, so <coughs> we're seeing a, a growth of them from, from Kenya. Like Kenya, hackers or worse? People are tending to hack. Um, and they do it for fun. I mean, they do it just to see how far they can get. Uh, and you know, we've got a couple of things. One, we've got a, you know, a communication network. And the second thing is we've got a mobile payment thing. So for them, you know, let's just keep attempting and yeah. see if we, can, if we can break through. Nobody's managed to break through at any significant level yet. Mm. Um, but they do that to us, they do that to the, the, to the banks. Um, yeah. Uh, and our cyber watch unit is um, it's, it's very smart. There's some guys from committee who are always soliciting funds from us. So know. that's not, I mean, you know, we don't think that is cyber. I mean, that's just straightforward crime. Um, <laughs> and, you know, people ask me, in fact, they asked me in Parliament um, earlier this week, you know, how, how can that happen? Well, it happens with fake IDs. So you take a fake ID and, and you will get your SIM card uh, registered. That's right. uh, the fact of the matter is that in committee you shouldn't have a mobile phone. It's, it shouldn't be allowed. It's, it's not allowed anyway. So how do they get it? Um, 
follow the chain. That's the first, yeah. And so you see, and how they get the money out. There's a lot of collaboration that happens there. Yeah, a couple but of that's a straightforward crime. Yeah, a couple of SMSs. Joyce from Fika, glad you're back, healthy and cancer-free. We care for you and all the best as you get back in your duties. Linda says, I thank God for Bob's life. God is indeed faithful. May the Almighty renew your strength so you can continue with your good work at Safaricom. And Dongo Mwega in Nyeri. Welcome back, Bob. We thank God for healing you. My nephew is lying in Kenyatta National Hospital now for almost a year with the same illness. I hope he will also get cured. How old is I wonder how old he is. Yeah. A year at Kenyatta. Adeline Modoni, you say. Hi, Jeff. Tell Bob that while he was away, I could still see traces of his good management and leadership. We need him. The world needs him. You are looked up to. Anonymous says, thank you, Bob, for honestly and transparently sharing your experience. Having gone through a similar experience, I appreciate you brought out the issues I wanted to share. Thank you. Jane. Asante, Jeff, for hosting Bob. He's brought hope to this cancer maneno. Tell him, CEO, while you were away, we stayed loyal to Safaricom. Oh, how about that? And we don't take that for granted, huh? Yeah. We don't take that loyalty for granted because we are aware. You walk right in front of me. It's my camera. There's another camera there, so it's okay. No, but it's he all, was using this camera. Th there's a director. Yeah, sh keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, we, we don't take customers' loyalty for granted because yeah. we know that every second, and there's so many people who've got multiple sims anyway, um, every second you can make a decision to go with the, mm. with the other network. Mm. Um, you don't even have to have a dual SIM phone. Yeah? Uh, and so when people stick with us, we really take that seriously. Yeah. And when we let them down, we take that seriously. And we take it personally. Sure. And we do let customers down. I mean, that, that's for sure. How many customers do you have right now, plus minus? Uh, we have a, about 30 million. About 30, yeah? Yeah. And M-Pesa users? 20, 25? Oh man, give me a break again. I want to be back. I think we're, I think we're probably at about 27, 26, wow. 27. Wow. Million. Okay. Uh, before I let you go, and I know uh, you, you, thank you so much for your time, generous time, uh, but I have to ask you about the future of Safaricom next five, 10 years, because the region is now literally opening up. And, you know, one particular place is a country north of us that has 100 million people. Looks like them and their enemies are all handshaking. Everyone's handshaking around the region. Mm. Is that? Was that you to yeah. do with it? Or? The only thing with handshakes, you know, I, I have to watch infections. So I'm not handshaking <laughs> You're not anybody. shaking anybody's hand. Uh, whether they resisted me or not. Yeah, but Ethiopia is key. And you guys have been trying to get in there. Or, uh, not just you, everybody's been trying to get in there. So uh, um, we need to look at this in, uh, in the context of, of time. So these things take a long time. Yeah. Um, Ethiopia is, uh, is a country which has a, a kind of a regime which makes things n naturally, uh, you know, a little bit takes a little bit longer so nothing will happen either with us or with anyone else in ethiopia for a couple of years yeah. right? you know if they decided to change um how they manage telecommunications and banking that will take a while uh, but we are looking at, at other forms of um, of revenue mm -hmm. so uh, a thing that i've got a, a big um a big focus on is e-commerce early days with masoko but, um, you know, for example, we, we came back and we needed to buy some uh, kitchen appliances, um, <coughs> washing machines, dishwasher, tumble dryers, heaters. <laughs> yeah. The purchase of a heating was a short term thing. I mean, two days later, the, the sun, sun came, came out. out. Yeah. Um, you know, these are all things which are available on Masoko. I, I purchased a lot on Amazon when I was in, uh, in London. And uh, we're, we're trying to recreate that experience Amazon, here. Mm. We're learning, we're making mistakes as we're doing it. Um, but that's, for me, something which, you know, kind of three or four years out, will start to show some, um, some, some very good results. Uh, getting fiber into the home will, will do some yeah. stuff. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, taking mobile money out of Kenya um, or not taking out of it, but expanding it beyond Kenya certainly is on our radar. And together with our colleagues in South Africa, in Vodacom, you know, it gives us more access to more money to, to go do things. Mm -hmm. So at the point at which you know, we want to upgrade this M-Pesa platform to something big, um, where we might be using things like blockchain, um, <coughs> you know, we will do that in collaboration with the, with the guys there. Yeah. Um, 
and then you can start to break into some, some other markets. So that's where we're, we're, we're looking for the expansion, not necessarily in running a mobile network in, in Ethiopia. I mean, everybody jumps in that one. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, that's not our focus right now. Our yeah. focus is, what, what are we really good at? We're really good at mobile money. And you know, we're developing our thinking around e-commerce. And e-commerce is something, again, which it doesn't stick <coughs> with Kenya. If you're yeah. doing e-commerce, then you know, why wouldn't you provide it into uh, Uganda? Why wouldn't you provide it into Rwanda? Why wouldn't you provide it into Ethiopia? Yeah. That makes a lot, because that's much more of a digital kind of company than a company putting up concrete and the steel, putting yeah. up cell phone towers and you know, all that stuff. Finally. Obviously, you missed this country for nine months, and you just told me a moment ago your contract expires in about a year plus minus. You're going to stay on? I don't think um, so. My contract runs out in just under a year, actually, the 1st of August. Um, you know, I need to discuss with the board whether this year that I owe them, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to repay that or right, not. Right. Um, but this is a conversation which we'll have with the board. Uh, but that's, I mean, that will definitely be it, you know, because that'll make 10 years. And, uh, you know, Michael, incidentally, you know, Michael and I, have, um, we're always pretty close, but Michael has been one of the biggest supporters. Uh, and I had breakfast with him two Fridays ago, and as we stood there in, in, um, in Russell Square. He said, I'm gonna miss this. I said, M Michael, you know, you come to Nairobi a lot. Why, why are you going to miss it? He says, I miss the fact that we sit here for three or four hours talking about stuff. We talk about Safaricom stuff. We talk about cancer because, you know, he went through yeah. pretty much the same thing as yeah. me. Um, He's also a survivor. A uh, fantastic survivor, you know. Um, so we have become, I mean, let me use the word, really fond of each other. Uh, and Michael, was, and he hate me. I, I'm saying it because he's not here, um, because he's this big gruff guy. But he is. Yes. But Michael has been a, a moral support. You know, fantastic. Um, and you know, Michael and I both think oh, ten years is enough. You know, you need to do something. Else. The company actually needs to have new leadership. And so we're working on those succession plans. Yeah. And recently, you know, we've sent um, one of our colleagues. <coughs> to manage the Tanzanian business. That's right. Um, so, yeah. you know, we've got some, some pretty smart talent mm -hmm. in, in the company, obviously. And um, so we're not worried about the succession. We think that so what happens to Bob? Um, well, I would really like to uh, form a band. Um, <laughs> so I'm, what are you laughing at? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, uh, uh, um, okay. I, I've got the, the saxophone now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just need another few people. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so I want to form a band um, and tour the world. Yeah. You're going to be state house advisor as well. well state you're house advisor. Why the hell do you think I do that? <laughs> you think I'm stupid? But finally, I mean, I, you know, I just want to say that uh, you yeah. know, I've had many words of welcome back home, and, and it's been great. Yeah. Um, you have just given me words. You haven't given me actions. <laughs> you, um, despite what people might have said about me and Kenyan food, <laughs> I still think that you do one of the best nyamachomas ever. Really. Listen, man. When ever. can you, I mean, you, when know, can you beyond, come over? Honestly. Beyond the shadow of joke, this guy really. Um, and by the way, when the you way come, you throw that salt over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you but come, you haven't invited me to your You home. will have it hot off the grill. I can only have it hot. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. And well done, one boy. One boy's done a good job too. I have to say, a big well thank done. you to one yeah. boy. When are you coming home? Okay, thanks so much for being a part of Jeff Green and Get Live. You can't get this kind of stuff anywhere else but right here. And thanks to Bob. We've learned a lot about this horrible disease called cancer. It's good to know some people are doing something about it. One person at a time. Pole pole. We will get there, no doubt. Tomorrow morning on Hot 96, join me for the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa. New hashtag, Jeff in the morning. I got a new co-host for this week or for tomorrow, Ofweneke. Uh, uh, That's right, Ofweneke. Are you allowed to come out early in the morning sometime? Can we do radio in the morning? I'm usually in the gym. <coughs> Excuse me. I've Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. I've, I've been on your show before. You, I mean, of course, I've been on your show. Okay, you come back. You don't remember. Fred Afune wants you back. Fred Afune saying, make sure Bob comes on the radio. Tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Every Wednesday, remember the place to be is right here. On your keyboard is the three letters that follow each other. J-K-L. Right here. Every Wednesday, 9 p.m. on Citizen Television. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. Good night. Good luck. God bless all the cancer survivors, including my friend.
Thank you.